Hello and welcome to another episode of Spirit Seeking with Pratik on Sound Health Solution. In this channel, we speak about a lot of things, including including spirituality, mental health, uh, sometimes physical health, uh, ways to meditate, how to get rid of anxiety, and all those uh, mind-related diseases. And we also talk about mudras, different mudras are hand positions which help you uh, diagnose and control and regulate different diseases. And we basically speak of everything and anything under the sun. We are just trying to share each other's thoughts and opinions so that we can help each other become uh, a wider perspective human being so that we can become human beings with a wider perspective. It's just a small effort. And today we are going to speak about relationships. Yes. So, um, relationships may they be romantic or not, have a major role to play in our life. We cannot live without relationships, right? And for any human being, I think the most important relationship is the relationship with, a, uh, with one's spouse or husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend because if possible, you want to live with them for the rest of your lives, right? But what are the things that you need to be careful about in a relationship so that you can make the relationship last longer and so that you can have a better relationships with time your relationship needs to strengthen your bond needs to strengthen instead of being feeble and weak i think the first and the foremost thing that you need to be aware of is that whether you're a boy or a girl you need to make your partner feel safe because safety is the number one need of humans as biological beings you need to make the other person feel safe right which means um, you need to be aware if the actions that you do and the words that you speak intimidate the other person you want to have a balanced relationship. You do not want to have a dominating and a submissive relationship. Similarly, you need to respect the other person's space. Um, and space might mean a lot of things. Space might mean you giving the person enough time to spend with themselves or the other aspects of their life. Space in the most uh, naive sense also means physical space right um, you need to make sure that you give the person enough physical space right uh, yes of course as partners you like to be cuddly and you like to roll on each other but only when the time calls only when the situation calls else you need to understand what kind of proximity does that person appreciate in his or her life and you need to try and give that similarly the matter of safety also comes into play when you're expressing yourself it is very important to express yourself in a relationship but at the same time you need to make sure that your expression is non-violent if you're not satisfied with certain things that person has done and it has affected you emotionally um, Yes, of course, your first reaction, your first response would be to shout back at the person. But that's what usually destroys relation relationships. You shout and the other person shouts back and it just keeps on escalating until you get to a point where either of you cannot bear it anymore and one of you breaks and the entire situation is broken. If you have been hurt, uh, you don't want to turn this into a vicious cycle. You need to, you want to give yourself some space so that the next time you go to that person and express yourself, that person does not get hurt by your words or your emotions or the way you are expressing yourself. That comes under safety. 
The next thing to consider is honesty. I remember a teacher in my school used to say, honesty is not the best policy. Honesty is the only policy. And that I have realized in my own personal life too, whether it be in relationships or in anything that you do, your work, uh, your personal life, anything. Honesty is the only policy to go by. The moment you deviate from honesty, what happens is your reality changes. You form a you form an untrue reality and you start living in that untrue reality and you get start getting illusioned. Similarly, in a relationship, what you want to do is whether it be the most gruesome thing, the most disgusting thing, the most scary thing, you want to be open and honest about it. Because eventually whatever is within us is duly expressed and your partner or your spouse will eventually see it and experience it. So instead of hiding things, you just need to come out as clean as possible. So that when you do that with words, the other partner has two different kind of solaces. The first is she's able to, he or she is able to understand it, acknowledge it verbally instead of emotionally. She's able to analyze it intellectually and men mentally without the use of any emotions. And the second is he or she will feel secure that you found that person uh, close enough and trustworthy enough to tell your biggest darkest secrets because it takes a lot of courage to tell the truth in all kinds of situations so the other thing to remember is honesty in relationships always and always honesty is the only policy after that after that once you once you comply with the safety needs and the honesty aspect, the third thing that you can give is trust. See, you are in a relationship for a reason. You want to share your life or moments of your life with a certain person. And so many times, it, and many times it so happens that feels like the other person is breaking our trust intentionally or unintentionally um, but it's not about the other person it's about yourself see everybody is broken everybody has their insecurities everybody has their flaws and they act according to it when that is expressed in front of you the amount of acceptance the amount of non-judgmental acceptance that you can give to the other person determines how much that person can trust you right if you have a habit of snapping at the first sentence the first sentence said by the other person that puts you out of your comfort zone that person will stop telling you things openly you have to understand when to react and when to respond so trust is not just about the other person's trust on you but how much trustworthy you are able to become in that other person's eyes if you know what i mean that's another thing that's very important in a relationship whenever you are doubtful about anything make sure you give the person a benefit of doubt and you just accept those words see how see how much of an impact those words make in your life and most of the times there is nothing that makes a bigger impact than uh, creating a bond with your partner right saints usually say it's better to go and talk to a friend who's angry at you than to travel the seven heavens. So these were some of the things that one can be aware of when one is in a relationship. There still are uh, a couple of more things that one needs to be aware of in a relationship. 
which we shall talk in our videos to come if you liked this video do not forget to press the like button and if you like whatever is happening in sound health solution do not forget to subscribe to us we'll make sure that we come with similar videos more interesting videos for you guys let's build a community might be small but a community new aged open-minded human beings until next time